Alright, since someone asked me how I did this, I'll just make an entire video explaining it because I probably have no time for whenever uh, they do ask me again. <laughs> Also, uh, apologies for the poor quality. I did not plan this ahead and I just kind of wing it. <laughs> so you quite literally just search up mine ways over here. Just click on one that's from real time rendering. And here you go. Just click on this little guy over here and it should start downloading. Now, once you do have mine ways, you'll have this little guy over here. All you have to do is just open. Then you just gotta go to your Minecraft folder and go to your saves file and just look for the world that you want to get a portion of. Now, as you can see over here, you need the level.dat file or the world file. Which, here you go, right over here. Very nice. So just open that and there you go. There's your world. Now, as long as your chunks are rendered, have been rendered, then you will have no problem. It will appear right here already. Now you just look around with your left click and you select with right click. It's as easy as that. Select this. Now it will have like a little pop up for you. It's your choice. Like just just read through that. When you select, you're selecting in three dimensions. Showing a depth slider near the top. You can adjust this depth by using the slider or open bracket and close bracket keys. Simple enough to understand. You want to set the depth to 33 to select all visible blocks. Now, if you don't want too much like vertices and polygons, then uh, yeah, I recommend this. <laughs> now, once you have your part selected, just go all the way to the top left, and I will be when rendering this in Blender. I just export for rendering. This will open up a file explorer for you to name your file. I'm just gonna call this tutorial, and literally just put it into the folder that you want it to be in. It'll pop up with this little thing here. You can go through this to see uh, what works for you. I'm just gonna simplify the mesh and stuff. And once you're all set up here, just press OK and wait a bit. Great, now you have a portion of your world just right there. Now, all we gotta do next is open up Blender. I'm using Blender 4.1. And here you go, just delete the, all the default stuff here if you want. And we're gonna press Import, or we can just drag and drop here. And Import Wavefront OBJ. And there we go, we have our world in Blender. Obviously, um, it doesn't have any of the textures of the blocks, so you want your juicy textures to be there for the rendering, of course. Of course, who wouldn't? All you have to do is, I mean, wait, I, I mean, your textures are actually already there. It's just that you have to do a bit more adjusting before uh, it looks great. So. If we go close to these uh, textures, it's blurry because the textures of Minecraft are really small for the pixel feel of it. All we really have to do is go to the material. Let me pull this up. Uh, we just have to go to the shader editor and here is our texture, the uh, image file of the texture. Now instead of uh, it being linear over here, the text we have to change the texture interpolation to closest now it's a bit more clear <laughs> that that fixes that but it's gonna get very tedious for for do, doing that for every single texture that's here which is a lot really <laughs> now lucky for me I found a script online that helps me do just that so we go to the scripting tab over here press new and name it whatever you want I'm gonna call it balls now you can just ignore these things over here, we just gotta put the script here. This is the script to change all of the texture interpolations for the blocks to closest, which will fix all this uh, blurry kind of stuff. I don't think it's much noticeable from afar, but if you're taking like close-up shots of something, then you definitely need it. So we're scripting. This is the script. If you want to copy it, then sure. <laughs> Just run the script and everything should be good. See, the little checks over there. Everything is now fixed and alright. <laughs> but like I said, if you're doing close-up shots, you need to do some more adjustments. For example, if you have a block that's like that has transparency on the textures, like this torch over here, you have to change some more stuff that uh, I don't really have a code for. <laughs> but... And honestly, I don't know if it will break some stuff, but uh, I haven't, I haven't, I don't know yet. But uh, just in case, so we're gonna look for the torch texture over here. 
just scroll down a bit till you see the settings right over here. Now you want to set the blend mode to alpha clip and the shadow mode also to alpha clip. And then there's your torches, it's fixed. Also this also works for other stuff like grass, flowers, chains, just all the stuff that has transparency. <laughs> now I'm not gonna do, I'm not, I'm not, I can't be asked to um, <laughs> give everything light, like give the torches light. Because as you can see, <laughs> it's very minimal. Even with like the emission, it already has. So uh, no, I'm not doing that. You can get a point light and put it where the light would be coming from, and just put it inside the block and put it inside the uh, little thing. What I'm gonna do here is just get a sun, put it, and I'm just gonna get a simple um, kind of sun. Very silly world in Blender. Run in Blender. Now, now remember, for the transparency part, I'm rendering this in Eevee. That's why I have to do. That's why we have to do that. If you're, uh, if you're gonna render this in Cycles, then you're pretty much all good. Right after this part, though, all you have to do is just render image. And uh, if you want, you could edit it after or do some extra stuff in the uh, in Blender itself. But now just since this is just a tutorial, I'm not gonna do much. And here you go, here's your little image. Isn't that neat? Congratulations. You've rendered your world in Blender really nicely without the need of shaders. Here's some extra stuff though. If you want these shadows to look a bit more clean, we can go over here to the shadows tab in the render properties. Shadows, uh, this is optional. You put Turn up the cube size all the way up, as well as the cascade size, and maybe high bit depth? I'm not sure, everything still looks fine to me, honestly. So, now, there you go. These are optional too, the ambient occlusion and bloom. But Minecraft itself has a bit of ambient occlusion, so eh, whatever. There you go. There's your very cool render of part of your world. <laughs> of like, your build or whatever. You can use this for showcasing your builds or whatever. This is great. Without the need of shaders, that will explode your computer too. I mean, Blender's kind of heavy too, so uh, whoopsies. <laughs> like, here's what I'm talking about with the uh, with the uh, optional lights part. You can, uh, <laughs> you can uh, fix the little light things with like torches and stuff just by putting uh, point lights on them. And uh, yeah, it's it's actually really good on its own too. It's really good on its own too. And it's a really great choice if you're doing shots like this. <laughs> it's it's really nice. I ran this in cycles and oh my PC. And there we go. Have fun when you. Bleh. And there we go. Have fun with your new knowledge of rendering stuff from Minecraft to Blender without the need of shaders. <laughs>